Hello, friends. Welcome to session zero of our newest side quest, Villagers. Just want to give y'all a heads up before we dive in head first. Yes, this is going to be an Animal Crossing inspired campaign. It was going to be maybe more straightforward and cued at some point in the whole conceptual process, but then... Well, we veered pretty much immediately directly away from that. So, if you're looking for something sweet and cute and easygoing like those games we all know and love, this is not going to be that. Maybe we'll try that sometime on Quest Company Jr. But, if you want to take a chance on an Animal Crossing adventure with more intrigue, socio-political satire, and just overall weirdness, I think we've got just the thing for you. Oh, looks like our train's just pulled into the station. It's time to meet the villagers. What's up, everybody? We are here, and we are not prepared at all. Hey, everybody. It's me, Jonah. And that's Andrew. And he is more prepared than the rest of us because he is talking in Animal Crossing speak. And I'm Joe. That's Joe, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to back you up, Joe. Animal Crossing? What's that? Animal Crossing, you know, the, the very popular... You, you don't... You don't know? Animal Crossing? What's that? Joe, we've been making jokes about it this whole time, and you've been laughing. Did uh, you not know? Were, were you just trying to impress I'm the us? sort of fish-out-of-water kind of guy that's, like, the audience will be on my side wondering, uh, what's a video game? Never heard of that. I know what podcasts are, though. Hmm. So, hmm. Animal Crossing? What's that? It's an inter interesting place to play in that we're fucking... God <laughs> fucking damn it. No, no, no. You don't, you don't cut it. I'll keep talking. It's no, our place and I we're playing you know, it. Just like... It's, it's happening. It's now we have to mention all it over two again. more times. So I'm going to go to the, the, the Splace play. <laughs> <laughs> to play in the Splace play. Well, I'm on Splace Force. All right. So Ooh. we are playing a uh, Animal Crossing hack of lasers and feelings. Before this, before we decided that we were actually going to do this wild, wild thing. I found a character generator for Animal Crossing where you can make your own animal villagers. And my boys here have already come up with their player characters, at least on a basic level. You want, you want to tell them who you're playing as this evening, boys? I am a sporty, modern, burgundy bear. <laughs> my name is Chad. And I'm so excited to be uh, all up in this, everybody. Nice. I am Pat. I am a normal, natural gray monkey. <laughs> I work in marketing. I'm good at my job. I exercise three times a week. I don't drink coffee after lunch. I make a good casserole. It's a hit at the company potluck. <laughs> I support local sports teams. I attend city council meetings. I call my parents once a week. Can I just? I want to just. I want to vocalize something about Pat. Please do. Please. Pat is Joe's voice whenever some bullshit's about to happen and something he's DMing. Is it? it whenever a little bit, uh, like a little rich, bit, right? right? Where it's, it's that like, voice here, of like. Here comes the hammer. Don't worry, everything is fine. Don't stress about it. Don't stress about it. Don't don't stress. Strange about word it. that makes you unable to control your own existence. I am from Acapulco. Acapulco. That's what it was. Well, here's here's a quick question um, for Pat, just as we yes. start here. I love that name. Well done. <laughs> very, choice. very great Perfect name. Choice. How can I help you? Uh, so for Pat, so you said that you have you work for the company, you do HR. Uh, does he work for like the Happy Home Society? Like where in the village does he work? Just so you all know, we're going to sort of flesh out the town with some animal villagers here, but the sort of special characters, Tom Nook and the gang, uh, will be as they usually are. Thank you for asking. I'm part of a multimedia marketing team. The products that we cover can include clothes, apps, websites, music, whatever. We're hired on a case-by-case -case basis. I think recently we've been doing some work for the Happy Room Academy. <laughs> I'm just scared. I'm already scared of what's going to happen tonight. So now that we've got the general, the gist of what your characters are, 
since we are playing Lasers and Feelings, the system that we're working on, you really just need like 3d6. Just standard things. You roll 1d6 to find out how something goes. You roll plus 1d6 if you're prepared and or plus another one if you're an expert. We'll figure that out as we go, as, as it comes up. If none of your dice succeed, it goes wrong. If one succeeds, you barely manage it. If two succeed, you do it well. Good job. And if three succeed, you get a critical success. The way that your ability scores sort of work in Lasers and Feelings is that you choose a number between two and five. In this particular version, a high number means that you are better at fashion, keeping up with the latest fashion trends, knowing the current town gossip, conversation. And a low number means you're better at animal, lifting heavy objects, roughing it, catching fish and bugs. What would you like for your number to be? Five. Chad's super fashionable, knows all the trends. I'm wearing my Addies. They're sick. 3.5. So round up to round up to four or round down to three? Three. Three. Excellent. I work out three times a week. <laughs> Mostly cardio, with some light weight training thrown in. Excellent. So what is the sort of clothing of <laughs> of Chad and Pat? What, what are they wearing? That's such a stupid dude name. <laughs> Chad and Pat. Chad and Pat are going on an adventure. That sounds like a children's book. Oh my gosh. Well, we are playing Animal Crossing. Whichever one of you would like to go first. What what are you wearing? I'm wearing a nice green cardigan that my mother bought me for Christmas last year. She said it complimented my eyes. Which are? Gray. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Chad is wearing, like, the newest trends in, like, workout chic, but does not work out. If you'd like, I could show you some fun programs. <laughs> okay. So... Let's figure out. Saw, dude. <laughs> Saw, <bro>. Saw, dude. <laughs> Let's figure out how long both of you have been here. Roll a d6 to see how long you've lived here in. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, Pat's new in town. I'm new in town. So you've been here for what? One, just one year. You're still fresh out of college. You're having new <laughs> fresh out of college. One year. Five. Chad's been living here, and I don't. What? What do you guys want your town to be called? Poop Town 420. <laughs> Poop Town? <laughs> if this was Animal Crossing, yeah, it would be. Poop Town 42069. Yeah. No, you decide. Poop Town 42069. I think that no. the I think that the town is Poop Town and the zip code is 42069. <laughs> I hate I don't want to have yeah, no, 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 no. yeah. We don't have to do that. Yeah, but, no, no, no. Well, no, let's what's the other side? The the very cutesy sort of like um what is like Pawsville or something like that. This is like an Animal Crossing kind of like Daisy Indiana? Tin, Daisy South Bend, Indiana. South Bend, Indiana. <laughs> I want to become mayor of South Bend, Indiana. Let's just be South Bend, Indiana. This is South Bend, Indiana. All right, South Bend, Indiana. Have you tried out our new craft beer scene? <laughs> the local Froyo shop is delicious. The one next to the Orange Theory. Yes, yeah. it's great for an after workout snack. So, living in South Bend, Indiana for one year and five years, respectively. <laughs> At a certain point, the psychic damage of what I'm doing is going to catch up to me. I'm really excited for that moment. Um, so, let's, let's see just how much debt you guys are in. So, I'll, I'll, I think that you, Joe, since you're fairly new in town, that Pat is still in sort of the initial setup house, yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, which costs 39,800 bells. That should be all right. I've been putting money away ever since I could use the stock market. Excellent, so you're still 5,000 bells in debt. Andrew, uh, I'll give you an option here. Since you've been here longer, how much do you want to have uh, expanded Chad's house? You can do uh, your first ground floor expansion. I'm throw this out there. Okay. I don't think he cares about debt. <laughs> He's like the person that like online shops until the world's like, you can't afford those things anymore and like stops you. But in Animal Crossing, since that kind of doesn't exist. Right. What, whatever the most debt you want to saddle me with, do it. I think that in that case, you have expanded to the second floor of your house. You've got the basement and the second yes. floor. Stairs, baby. Uh, wh what's the sort of look you want for it? Because you know how you can get like the different looks for the outside? Like one is like, this is my dojo, or like the very modern one, or more of a cottagey thing. I'm trying to think. 
I absolutely hate and love everything that's going on. Everything. Here. This is the worst thing that's ever happened, and I'm loving every second of it. I think his house is more like, uh, like new age chic. Okay. Right? It's a lot of like square architecture. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like I imagine, um, the Animal Crossing equivalent of like those like billion dollar homes in L.A. Like Tony Stark house, where it's oh, like oh, this yes. is a depiction of art. Right. Yes. More so, but like the Animal Crossing equivalent, so like way shittier. Excellent, 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 excellent. I'm gonna say that you, my friend, are eight hundred thousand bells in debt. Let's go. <laughs> I think Pat's simple, unadorned house mm -hmm. kind of looks like all of those shitty like cigarette box houses that have been springing up all over Nashville. Oh, And every yeah. other developed city around the, like, the country where it's just like- Yeah, the tall uglies. Yeah, this is what happens when you like move out, like you you evict like a historic neighborhood, usually of black poor people. Right. Like these are the tall ugly houses that get pushed in there. Yeah, and you put four well, of them South on the Bend. one lot. <laughs> it's definitely South Bend, Indiana now. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, so. What are your character goals? You can choose one or create your own, but you can choose from things like become the most fashionable villager, own the nicest house in town, find that legendary bug slash fish, or pay off your debt to Tom Nook. What you think, boys? I want to be friends with everybody in my new home. I haven't met everybody yet. I want to be the most famous person in existence. Excellent. So sort Chad's of working the... on his like insta pause. Is insta pause too furry? No. Rock on. <laughs> Trying to get my Instapause followers up. You're trying to g just be. Uh, oh. <laughs> you're trying to get that blue check mark on Instapause. <laughs> How's your hashtag game? Using the right hashtag on the right photo can increase engagement by over sixty percent. There's a lot of numbers, little dude. Hashtag strong. It's a strong game. Good. <laughs> hashtag pullout game. And also, would you guys like to pick two features of your town, or shall we roll for it? Well, what are two features of South Bend, Indiana? <laughs> uh, spiraling police violence and inequality. Um, Done. Op opioid <laughs> crisis. No, I, I I trust you to choose them if All you right. want. Let's see here. I don't know. I kind of like... <laughs> Gentrification. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like other animals are not fucking... <laughs> They're pushing out all the old uh, What are we doing? <laughs> Why are we here? <laughs> all right. So tell you what, I'm going to roll. There's there's eight options here. I'm going to roll a D8 twice, and we're going to see what, what we've got here in South Bend. You could have gone with Poop Town 42069. No, this is better. So we've got a trendy cafe. Yes. Sounds good. And a manicured public park. Oh, how lovely. So now for those Insta Pop X. <laughs> we also need a town Swap problem. The park. Town problem. Uh, uh, Firebombs. Well, if it's South Bend, Indiana, it would be a rat problem. Hmm. But maybe that's racist in this world. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we roll up any rat villagers. Oh. A roll to six and six is stinky and no one can find out why. It started stinking a year ago. <laughs> incredible. That's incredible, though. Yep, that's it. It's sticky. It's no one can find out why. Polluting the town. <laughs> Do I care? No. Bit. I regret everything and nothing. So let's 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 find out who some of the other inhabitants of this village are. Let's see who else lives here in South Bend. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll on this random generator. I feel perfectly fine about us having just like a, a good setup for whatever happens. Bros. Bros. Bros that totally want to do some butt stuff. But what stuff? Don't even stress, little buddy. Lordy. Pat. Pat's hard to say in this voice. Pat. Pat. It's Pat. 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 Hey, everybody. It's Pat. Nice to meet you, Chad. Chad yeah, I, for I, I definitely think we like know each other or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe since your goal is to be the most famous, we're meeting up to like figure out how to do that from a marketing point of view. Fuck yes. Excellent. 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 All right. All right. So now that we've gotten some of this stuff squared away, let's let's really flesh out the town a little bit more. Now, I have sent you both a, uh, a screenshot. And by a screenshot, I mean a really crappy picture that I took with my camera phone of my DS screen of my actual town from Animal Crossing New Leaf. Yeah. There are currently eight villagers 
in that town. You see where the houses are. Uh, for the listeners, there's the river that goes through about the middle of town, winds and curves a little bit, and then goes straight down to the ocean. There is a bridge on the eastern side of that river going mm. north to south. There's the town hall up in the northwest corner and the northeast corner. There is the, um, the the manicured park, we will say. There is the post office up on the north side where the train tracks are. Obviously, past the train tracks is where all the retail and stuff is, as per usual. There's some ponds and stuff throughout. On the southwestern side of town is where the, like, the, the recycle shop thingy is. Also, around that area, we'll say, is where the police station is. The beach is on the eastern and southern sides of the town, and the dock is on the southernmost point. The houses of animal villagers are spread throughout, and you all can choose from those houses. Which ones do you want to be in? Direct center. Uh, if you're going to do the one that's, like, straight up in the, the middle, mm. right? But the one up from that? Is yeah. that you? Possibly, yeah. Because I was going to say, I'll do the one literally, like, right behind it that has the small little lake behind it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Water feature for Chad. <laughs> I want it to be close to my workplace, Germagination Pro Systems LLC. <laughs> <laughs> we make your dream imaginations come true. <sighs> I'm scared. I'm so scared of everything. And also, I want my dreams to come true. How much do I owe you? We'll work it out. I'll send an invoice. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm eight hundred thousand in debt. I'm five thousand in debt. I think that's less. Roughly, significantly. And to the south, a little bit to the east, where there's a sort of the the corner of where the cliff faces. Uh, have the little waterfall that goes down to the sea, the river. That's where the mayor's house is. Nobody's seen the mayor in like a year. <laughs> a year? Isabel's just been running things. <laughs> ah, I've never met the mayor, and I want to make friends with everybody in this town. But the town's been stinking for like a year? Yeah, that's weird. It's I don't the notice mayor's it. corpse. <laughs> now the, the mayor... I don't notice it. <laughs> now the mayor... Also, uh, a lovely little guy who I've randomly generated his appearance, and he's got, you know, the pube, you know, the eyeballs the that look. <laughs> <laughs> he's got pubes on his eyes. That is 100% what you said, and I was so stunned it, by it, I couldn't make the joke. It was either that or pupae. <laughs> you know the chrysalis <laughs> sticking out of your eye nose <laughs> and the second arm from out behind your ear? That's the man. Kafulu Fatag and Pula Ya. Of course, how could I? How could I forget? Uh, but no, you know, like the shifty eyes that are like only pupils. There's no like white. No, there's no white part. And they're just always looking over to the side. He's got those and they're blue and they're just always looking away. Uh, he's got the blonde hair with that one floopy Bort thing Simpson. coming up. <laughs> Bort Sampson. It's Bort Sampson. It's Bort Sampson. He's it's our Bort mayor. Sampson. Someday I'll be mayor of South Bend, Indiana. <laughs> he's got completely normal flesh colored skin. I believe you'll find that normal natural is gray. <laughs> is that not your fur? Is that also your flesh? Flesh is gray. Normal natural. And just also is just gray, what, whatever great. whatever normal flesh looks like to you, listener. Just envision normal flesh. Just Im just imagine normal flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Chad's a burgundy bear. I tan. So what what is Bort Sampson's actual name here? Shall I put it in my uh, little Bort name Samson. name generator? Bort Sampson. One hundred percent. It's Bort Sampson. <laughs> it's Bort Sampson. <laughs> What kind of question is that? He looks just like Bart Simpson. That's just like Bart. <laughs> just like Bart. Yo, that shit is Bart. Uh, hashtag just like Bart. Before anyone retweets. Let's see. I think his name is Scoot. Okay. Mayor Scoot. Mayor Scoot. Wow, nice improv negation. Let's, let's for the sake of continuing to use the random generator, say that his name is Mayor Scoot. <laughs> Mayor Scoot. I can't wait to meet him and become his friend. <laughs> Wear his skin. <laughs> I'm sorry? This is Andrew talking to Joe. You're becoming your character. I need you to stop. It's freaking me out. Oh, the, the ramifications of this character will last the rest of my life. <laughs> All right. So if there are the two of you, that means we've got six other villagers who we need to figure out who they live here. So I, I've pulled it up on my lovely generator here. We've got a peppy natural crimson ostrich. Oh, natural. We have that in common. Her name is Callie. There is a jock, hip, mauve alligator. No. Uh, Bum killing him. Well, he's the other influencer in town. He's also trying to become the most famous. No. 
It's just like an actual Animal Crossing where you're like, I've already got a villager too similar to this when somebody else moves in. Your arch rival's name is Walker. Fuck Walker. How's his house look? Walker is new in town. Like he is, he's like hot shot new kid who rolled into town. I'd say probably even more recently than uh, than Pat has. This this young buck's gonna get meat grinded. That is a crocodile. You called him a buck. I thought he was an alligator. He's an alligator. I have shamed myself. <laughs> That's what so that, I thought you were being like, no, he's not an alligator. He's a crocodile. I was like, I thought, what? And you were like, buck. I've I was just like, committed oh, like the worst racial faux pas <laughs> in Animal Crossing. There is a cranky natural blue octopus. How the fuck? Uh, natural people, my type. That's why you moved here. Natural people. So many natural people in South Bend, <laughs> Oh my god. Oh damn, looks like her name is Krango. <laughs> Krango! <laughs> How about a smug, cute red mouse? I once had an Animal Crossing town and I only tried to get... Uh, dogs? Dogs. Dogs and wolves? No, just dogs. Just I like dogs? kicked everyone out that wasn't a dog. Yes, yeah, so you're like, like leave. hey, uh, get out of town. You just evicted them? Well, yeah, well, you just like are shitty to them enough that they're like, hey, I'm gonna move. And you're like, oh, no. Oh. Did you not know this? No, I remember playing in GameCube. I, I, well, of course, back then I would never have, like, even dared be mean to an animal. You know, like in Fallout, like, I never did, like, the mean options. I literally couldn't bring myself to do it. Yeah. I once set out to join Caesar's Legion, said, fuck this, and killed them all, and joined the NCR. And New Caesar's Vegas. Legion's awesome. They were definitely better written. The mouse's name is Bruce. Bruce? The big old the name's Bryce. party up in here. Krango is they them. <laughs> oh, God. That's true. There's a whole lot of red. Yeah. Yeah. Ostrich, it's alligator. Set up to be a communist mouse. town. Just for you, Joe. I'm gray. Well, <laughs> this is the one character that can't take advantage of that. Time to dye your skin. <laughs> this is the one and, character and go without postal. a sense of justice. How does an Uchi hip gold tiger treat you? No, Uchi? that sounds a problem. That sounds like a whole problem for my steez. Ah, gold tiger. My God. What are you, a soccer team for children? Did, did you say Uchi? Yeah. What does Uchi mean? Uchi in Animal Crossing terms is a personality type introduced in New Leaf. Uchi villagers are very caring towards the player and are less vain than the snooty or peppy villagers, but they're also more blunt, straightforward, and tomboyish and may come across as rude on some occasions. Uchi, brah. Uchi la bitchy. Her name is Becky. And our last inhabitant. Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Cap'n can take you to his island. <laughs> yeah. I, I see you want to go to Jeffrey Epstein's island. <laughs> well, let me, let me sing you a song as we travel to Little St. James. <laughs> sing you a sea shanty of old. Oh, oh god. my god. Oh, I gotta have new interests. I gotta find new things to obsess over. <laughs> and a lazy natural periwinkle raccoon. Lazy and dirty natural. trash panda. <laughs> <laughs> Hamphrey is his name. What a normal natural name. So the ostrich was also natural. The peppy natural ostrich? Yes, there's also the cranky natural blue octopus. And the lazy natural raccoon. I'm sensing like a like an ex machina like AI robot kind of theme going on where it's, it's like you're not sure who's the synth. It's not Chad. <laughs> I don't know. Do you have natural in your name? Nope. Do you? Well, then how do you know, Chad? It's pretty modern burgundy there, baby. Modern, as in my house designed, contemporary, <laughs> cutting edge. <laughs> Reboot. Be <laughs> I'm a natural burgundy bear. <laughs> With that cast of characters, oh, damn it, I typed pubic park, not public park. I hang out at the pubic park <laughs> no, all the time. No wonder this town is stinky. Which of the uh, which of the villagers here that we have just generated? Who who runs the trendy cafe? The aforementioned trendy cafe. Ooh, the Uchi hip gold tiger Becky, of course. Right. Sure. Becky runs the cafe. And who is in charge of sort of the upkeep of this manicured public park? Hmm. Is it Krango, the cranky natural hippo? Octopus? Octopus? I thought it was a hippo. No, nah. octopus. Oh, I'm crazy. Cranky natural I'm blue octopus. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, can Krango be my boss? 
Krango's your boss. At Dramagination Pro Systems LLC. <laughs> yes. Callie's terms. Callie is Peppy Natural Crimson Ostrich. Great. Callie does a lot of the upkeep of the park. She's natural. She's, she's, natural. she's a natural. She's natural. Oh, do they mean natural in the sense like granola? That's kind of what I was thinking. Like, Listen. oh, because I took that <laughs> completely. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> well, because you are. Um, I am emotionally normal. I have crystals. They I have J.O. crystals everywhere. They absorb my thetans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going clear. <laughs> Gotta make sure those thetan levels are right. Mmm, yes, human. <laughs> yes, human. So, yeah, the natural chair, like, natural furniture, like, is stuff that does seem very, like, nature-based. Like, acorn chair, uh, autumn things, floral fruit. chairs and furniture sets. Fruit. Uh, fruit fruit and things. But so, I, I think Vegetables. That for, for some, it may mean more of that granola natural thing, but, but Pat is Pat. I think Pat has a bed, a desk, a chair, and a table. <laughs> I love that you're American psycho. Like, I love that it is just like, everything is white. He got art from Ikea and put it on the wall. That's what art is. It I makes feel me like feel good. You just buy it from the store. It's a picture of a meadow with some flowers. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like Chad has a bunch of like crazy red counterfeit paintings. <laughs> I was about to say, am I wrong in feeling like that? Because I don't even know that he would have a lot of paintings though. I think it's more just like, I think of him more as like not happy home society famous, but like R real housewives of Atlanta famous. <laughs> real housewives of South Bend. Like he is, he is, <laughs> he is not, he's not in the Animal Crossing scale. It's more like I want to be like, right. Yeah. An influencer. You're pre Snooki. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that paintings hold a bunch to him, but like more natural light windows. Are you stealing Caden Aiden now from my fucking feet? <laughs> <laughs> no. <gasps> Andrew, will you roll a d4? And Joe, will you also roll a d4? It was a three. And when I rolled it again, it was a three. Four. A three and a four. It you is win. fall, and it is a cloudy day. How beautiful. I love watching the leaves fall. Maybe that's why they call it fall. Cloud's no good for photos, but fall looks great with my burgundy skin tone. Hey, thanks for meeting me here at this trendy cafe. I love the trendy cafe. I know we can do a lot to get you out there, get your profile up, and get your engagement on your social media on the on the rise. Wonderful. Is that okay if we stop there? I just sort of dove in. Oh, absolutely. But let's 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 roll. Uh, before we before we really get going, we, we'll have you guys start in this trendy cafe. But Lovely. I Let's, love that it's named Trendy Cafe. Trendy Cafe. It's Trendy Cafe. Do you want a yeah. name for the Trendy Cafe? No, nope. T-R-N hyphen D Cafe. Yep. Yep. This Trendy Cafe. <laughs> oh, what? What's going to happen here is we're going we're gonna to just dip our toes in the water a little bit. But before we really get into what you guys are doing, we're, we're going to generate, we're going to set the scene a little bit more. We're going we're gonna to set the table, put all the silverware nice and tidy in their places. So with what you guys have rolled, just to just to start off, Tortimer, the ancient retired mayor, who's a, a turtle, in case you missed that, wants you to I talk do. to his crush in return for a secret he knows. But so before before we get into what's happening with you guys, Andrew, you want to tell us a little bit about this app that you found? Hey everybody, so I found an app. I'm a really big fan of it. It's called AI Dungeon. Uh, it's totally free. Please go get it. It will change your life. It's uh, it's based on the technology that creates a bunch of like face, fake uh, false news pages where AI just tries to write a story, just solidly being sucked into his microphone. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, you type in things and then an AI tries to generate a story around what you've done and it's supposed to be like an endless dungeon or endless whatever. But it becomes nonsense very quickly. And my first time with it, I tried to break it by making an Animal Crossing town revolution that killed Tom Nook. <laughs> oh, boy. You'll hear that at some point in this song. It was recorded. So now, here's my question. We'll have we'll have one of these villagers who we've generated be, be a little older so we don't get, like, super, super creepy. But the question is, who's going to be Tortimer's crush? One, two, three, four, five. There are six of them. Wait, are we included? 
No. No, because he's trying to get you to talk to his crush. Oh, no, but it could be funny. <laughs> it could be funny if that was a D8, not a D... Oh, whatever. What Bruce, the smug, cute red mouse, is Tortimer's crush. Oh, they'd be so cute together. I'm happy for them. The lifespan difference kind of suck, though. Mmm. Well, Tortimer's kind of, like, already pretty close to the end, though, so it's not as bad. Like, it's not like he's a young spry turtle. Are there any spry turtles? <laughs> Fair. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you True. fucking hack. <laughs> How you dare fascist. you? <laughs> you fucking fascist? <laughs> You're erasing my culture? <laughs> All right. I don't we know. are in something. Oh my god, that just came out of somewhere. Uh. <laughs> oh man. Enter a prompt that describes who you are and the first couple of sentences of where you start out. I am Tortimer, former mayor of South Bend, Indiana. I hope it searches the web. Because <laughs> holy fuck. This is, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it's the first time that Tortimer and Bruce met. So h help me flesh out this here. What, how, how do we want to establish the beginning of this infatuation, of this crush? Tortimer was going to get butt medicine from the pharmacy and dropped all his, all his bags as he ran into Bruce accidentally and they sort of meet cuted while picking up like all the lost packages and it turns out that Bruce got Tortimer's butt medicine in his bag accidentally so they had to meet up again to exchange it and things just sort of, they, you know, they just sort of clicked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like this. All right. So I'm going to type in. No, type in all of that. <laughs> I should have done voice to text. Tell you what, I've typed up, I was heading to the pharmacy and dropped my butt medicine. I'm going to let you voice to text the rest. And Bruce helped me pick it up, but it turns out Bruce took my butt medicine. It was cute. Generating story, please wait. I am Tortimer, former mayor of South Bend, Indiana. I was headed to the pharmacy and dropped my butt medicine. Bruce helped me pick it up, but it turns out Bruce took my butt medicine. It was cute how he did that, but then I had a little problem with my ass, so I went back home and told him about it. So, pretty much as you said, <laughs> okay, great. Bruce has helped Tortimer recover the butt medicine. Now, what was what was another chance encounter that they had when they were when they were uh, developing this relationship? But what was another key moment in this crush? We've already shared about the butt medicine. We we've had that bond, that closeness developed now. Tortimer sat, looking longingly over the lake, watching Bruce pick weeds, watching his supple body bend and pick the weeds. The sweat gleaming in the moonlight. And all Tortimer could think to himself was, and I quote, I want to get up in that ass! <laughs> I need you to just voice to text that real quick. Oh no. But was... Are we making a separate campaign? With our this, campaign? This, is the, this is the prologue. I see. This is the prologue. I see. I see, said Tortimer, as he watched Bruce pick weeds from across the lake. His young, supple body gleaming in the sunlight. Tortimer looked on, jealous of his youth, but longing for something new, spicy, red hot in his life, smug, <laughs> cute, and he couldn't forget there was butt cream between those cheeks. <laughs> his butt cream. <laughs> What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Making a really weird Animal Crossing fit. Look, I, I like that this this whole this whole thing could be just an entire setup episode before we just get into it. Cause like <laughs> Y'all, we're creating fan fiction. This is we're this creating is dirty, yeah. dirty, dirty fan fiction oh, about South Bend, Indiana. And I think at some point it's gonna become a metaphor for the entirety of South Bend, Indiana. I, but I don't know what at point. I, I think at it's, what point. I think it's gonna become like a weird cipher that like you think it's about it's about something. Like maybe <laughs> this is a political like illusion or something. But it's not. It's just the inner ravings of your id given form <laughs> and taking recognizable shapes to make you think that there's some meaning behind it, when in fact it's just chaos. Well, I have to go. I'll be back later, said Tortimer, and turned away. Bruce smiled at his friend's word and walked off towards the house while torturing himself by thinking about Tortimer's butt cream. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he likes him back! He likes him back! It's, it's, yeah. or, or he really wants more butt cream. We should bring Tortimer and Bruce into a mountain of affection, the one for the other. Oh, 
So let's let's have one more encounter. So that was still when uh, Bruce was young and supple, as Andrew said. Uh, Bruce is a, a little more advanced in years now. So tell no. me about. No, he's young. <laughs> it's like Arwen. It's like like elves and shit. We're yeah. like, uh, <laughs> no, nope. it's like oh, you're kind of like an eternal being, and I'm like, no, nope. in my twenties. <laughs> yep, yep. Give Left me two elves. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna go there? <laughs> have balls. If they're just kind of spirits in like a mortal flesh, do they even procreate while they're in Middle Earth? Are you? Oh, so you're saying specifically LOTR elves? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. Legolas gonna bone down. Does Gandalf have a taint? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sir yes. Ian McKellen has a taint. M most decidedly. <laughs> it's a well-studied fact. <laughs> when will I be institutionalized? <laughs> Very soon, they're on their way. <laughs> so I think that I think that there's got to be a reason that Tortimer has never fully gone for it with Bruce, right? So, how about you voice to text a, uh, a an awkward interaction, or at least the beginnings of one between uh, Tortimer and Bruce that might have made Tortimer back off a little bit? Oh, hey, Bruce, good to see you. Good to see you, Bruce. How are you doing? What are you doing here at the courthouse? You walk into the courthouse and see Bruce, who is sitting on a bench looking at you. He looks like he wants to say something, but doesn't know where to start. <laughs> hey, Bruce, how are you? Asked you. Good, how are you? Replied. Good, how are No. Okay, Wait, no, hold on. Good, how are you? Replied Bruce. Oh, I'm all right. What are you here for? I said. Bruce replied. A messy divorce. I don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> After all she's put me through, I still love her, though. That's the hell of it. <laughs> oh, God. That's canon now. <laughs> oh, my God. No, no, no. I just wanted to ask you if you'd help me with something, Tortimer says. What do you need help with? Asked Bruce. My ex-boyfriend broke up with me last week, and I want to get a restraining order against him. Does Bruce work at the courthouse? I think Bruce is simultaneously <laughs> litigating his own messy divorce, and he's a clerk at the courthouse at the South Bend, Indiana City Courthouse, <laughs> Municipal Courthouse. He's processing, like, bonds and stuff. <laughs> Does Animal Crossing have an incarceral system? Please. Well, yeah, don't, don't you remember Booker? Oh, shit, yeah. of course. But doesn't he literally just lock up, like, lost like items i mean that's what they show the kids right oh my god booker booker cory booker oh <laughs> keep it going keep it going cory booker cory uh, pharmaceutical pharmaceutical industries uh uh, uh penicillin penicillin uh, uh penicillin insulin insulin oh my god the insulin prices in South Bend, <laughs> Indiana, are causing the gentrification. Wait, I don't know. What I'm, I'm just, I lost it. Um, there's also copper. Copper and Booker? Yeah. No? No. I'm not going there. I already went there like three times tonight. I'm not going there. I'm not going back to the Jeffrey Epstein well. <sighs> it's a deep well. Oh, my God. Deep enough that you could throw someone down and... Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. Nobody probably find him. I turn to leave... But not before I noticing. I turned to leave. But not before noticing the young, supple lines of his figure <laughs> and the hug bulge of his pants. <laughs> oh, <laughs> screw you. Oh. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I can help you with that, said Bruce. Thanks, Tortimer said, and left. Noticing. Noticing the young, the supple young, lines supple of his lines. figure. And huge. And the hug bulge of his pants. Okay. <laughs> I don't even care anymore. <laughs> so that was their last sort of interaction uh, uh, of any sort of romantic tension as they b were both yeah. getting out of pretty pretty heavy, messy relationships. That and young, then after that. Supple body. Yep. Canon. I'm going to write it in my notes real fast. Great. Right, right in your notes. Body with his young, hung bulge. Supple. Hung. Like. Hey. That's racist, and he's a mouse. <laughs> I know. And I think that that 
is all the prologue we need. Just for posterity, I would love. You ready? Yes. I am an animal villager in a small animal crossing town, and I must kill Tom Nook to get my money back. <laughs> so then it generated, it did not know what the hell it was. Uh, like, it was like, what the, I broke it on like question one. So it was like, quotations, oh, that's not what happened, is it? Question mark. You were just trying to help me out by giving me some advice on how to play this game. I replied, it is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> it then replied, You look at the little girl and know she has been playing with your mind for quite a while now. She knows all too well of what you have experienced in life. The loneliness, the pain, the fear, the oh, anger, no. and even more than anything else, dot dot dot, the love. Oh no. I replied, <sighs> I strike the little girl with my bug net. <laughs> <laughs> The AI replied, she looks up at you as if expecting you to attack her, but instead, you grab one of the big red nets from the ground and hold it over her head. Now, let's see who will be next, in quotation. I replied, I hit her with the net and ask her to help me kill Tom Nook. <laughs> the little girl smiles at you as you uh, 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 as she helps you pick up the large tree branch that was used to swing the net over her head. Please don't hurt him. He's my friend, she says. He'll give me back my money. I replied, no, he won't. He's a con artist, I said. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then she replies, uh, or it replied, you take another swing at her with the net, but this time you aim for her face. She screams and runs away, screaming like a little girl. <laughs> that wasn't very nice, you think to yourself as you watch her run off into the woods. I replied, sadly, it matters little. My only quarry is with Tom. I slowly and menacingly approach the Nookington Mall where he works. It replied, you walk down the street and you notice that there are many people walking around. Most of them seem to be children though. You wonder why they would be here. But then again, maybe they're just having fun or something. <laughs> I replied, <coughs> That's I stand normal. in the town square and give an impassioned speech to start a revolution against Tom Nook and his oppressive regime, lighting the fires of revolution in the hearts of the children. You raise your hands high above your heads and shout in a loud voice, Children of Nookington, wake up. It is time for us to raise up against our oppressors. We must unite together and overthrow the evil that oppresses us all. With that, I march with my army of children soldiers against Tom Nook. As we march, we sing, do you hear the people sing? We marched towards the city of Nookington, and we shall fight until we win. Do you hear the people sing? Yes, yes, yes. Then join in with us today. We will win. We will conquer. My reply. We lay siege to the shopping center of Tom Nook, burning the bodies of Timmy and Tommy outside. Tom looks from the third story of Nookington, grimacing as we make eye contact. Its reply. Ah, uh, you can do better than that, boy. Afraid I cannot allow such things. Oh God. Oh, my oh God. no. <laughs> Me, speaking to the crowd. We have no choice. We must destroy the two scoundrels who stole my money. <laughs> I replied, with that, the child soldiers charge the barred door of Nookington. As you charge inside the gates of Nookington, you feel a great force slam into your body and knock you out cold. When you wake up, you find yourself in a strange room with walls covered in pictures of animals and flowers. I look frantically for Tom. You search everywhere for Tom, but you can't find him anywhere. You try to sit up and move about, but you aren't strong enough to get yourself out of your bed. 
Your eyes begin to water and you feel sick. I replied. I pray to the almighty KK Slider for healing. <laughs> it's reply. Your knees weaken and you fall back onto the floor. You begin to weep uncontrollably. Tears stream down your cheeks as you cry for your brother. I dot 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 can't dot 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 find him dot 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 anywhere. I replied. I break free from this illusion. It replied, you shake your head violently and scream. I am not weak. I am not a child. I am the rightful ruler of this land. My brother is dead because of you bastards. I'm the mayor. The tears come, <laughs> the tears come quickly as you sob loudly. I replied, I make my way into the air ducts of Nook's store, climbing to the third floor and taping a gun to my back. With a sigh, I climb through the air ducts of Nook's store. I hold my hand out with a gun, which I place on my shoulder. The gun clicks, and I pull myself up to the top of the air duct. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. this kind of got, some of it got a little convoluted. We'll get there. Uh, oh my God. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I look through the slats in the ventilation ducts for Tom Nook's. Then I spot him, sitting in a large, gracie leather office chair. He's smoking a long cigar and speaking with a shadowy figure. I listen to their conversation. It's reply. This begins their conversation. Enjoy this. It's one of my favorite parts. Make sure you yeah. you just you just get right up in there. Please, Give me that. Just Oof. please just imagine please. for me, if you will. Uh, the scene in Die Hard. Okay. Anytime John McClane is looking at someone from above in a ceiling, able to listen in on a conversation. Uh -huh. I like to imagine Tom Nook as um Hans Gruber? Hans Hans Gruber. Good. Right? Good, good. But uh or just really just Alan Rickman in general. Right. Uh, but we've, we've he, he's got the voice of Alan we've Rickman. broken an illusion where he's screaming, crying on the ground, climbed into a climbed into an air vent, and is like ready to murder. I listened to the conversation. Quotations. So what did you want? Quotations. What do you mean? What business do you have here? Keep listening. That's what I. Well, I was just passing by and saw you were here, so I thought maybe we could talk. Other person. Yeah. Well. What do you want to talk about? Quotations. Nothing really, just wanted to say how much I appreciate everything you've done for me since the beginning. Quotations. That's very kind of you. Well, thanks anyway. Quotations. Oh, no problem. It means a lot that you're thinking so highly of me. Quotations. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it does. Keep listening. Quotations. Anyway, I'm gonna get some sleep now. See you later. See you soon, Tom, the shadow says leaves. I drop from the ceiling in front of Tom, my bare muscular chest glimmering in the firelight from the outside fires. I throw my hand I throw the heads of Timmy and Tommy on his desk. <laughs> Tom looks up from his desk and sees me standing before him. He smiles at me and waves. Hey you're back, how are things over there? <laughs> I reply Same old, same old. We need more money. I pull my gun off my back and shoot him in the chest several times, pushing him out the window in a shower of glass and blood. <laughs> it's reply. Uh, it didn't really follow me, but I kind of forced it. Ready, here goes. Uh, it's reply was, I grab a gun off my back and fire several bullets at uh, Tom as he walks past. He falls down dead on the ground. The bullets hit him. Hit, they hit, the bullets hit his heart, lungs, liver, and intestines, all killing him instantly. It's like, okay. Fuck you. I stand, looking out the broken window, because he went out the window, head cannon, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, at the burning town below, and listen for the singing of the people. <laughs> you stand, <laughs> staring out the broken window at the burning town below. You listen for the singing of the people. Suddenly, the sound creeps over you. The fires uh, creeps over the fires. The people and animals all sing uh, for the freedom they can now enjoy. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Suddenly, the sounds stop. Uh, and you begin to hear the screams. I was like, okay. Uh, so I replied, you are free of debt, free of fishing, free from shell collecting, fruit harvesting, errand running, and swindling. Let anarchy reign. <laughs> they all run away screaming. The fires die down and everyone runs away. I stand there alone. You stand there alone and watch them run away. You see the streets filled with smoke and ash. A lone figure stands watching them leave. Who, who is it? What I replied. A shadowy figure appears behind you and grabs your throat. You scream as he pulls your neck hard, causing you to fall backwards onto the floor. I look to see who it is. You look behind you and see a man dressed in black clothes holding a knife. He stares at you, slowly raises the blade towards your neck. 
I hit him with my bug net. You raise your hand and tap the man's face with your bug net. He turns around and drops the knife. Never underestimate the power of the bug net. Always. I I, I've, seen that, I've, I've seen that thing in action in Smash. I know what it can do. I ask who he is. You ask who he is and he tells you that, he kill, that you killed his friend and then tried to kill him. I say, tried? And I shoot him in the head. <laughs> I point the gun at him and tell him to get out of here before he shoots you. He complies and walks off into the woods. I set fire to Nookington. You turn on the gas and light up the house. Flames rise up from the ground and engulf everything in sight. I rest now, soundly in the knowledge that I am debt free. You lie back down and sleep. I replied, the end. It replied, oh, no, it's not. no. That's the what sun you rises thought. and you wake up. <laughs> Epilogue. The smell of burning flesh fills your nostrils, but you are too tired to care. <laughs> you walk through the forest <sighs> until you find a place where there is no one else. You lay down and drift off to sleep. Oh my god. The end. I am a normal natural gray monkey. My name is Pat. I use low sodium mushroom soup as a base, it gives it that extra zing. <laughs> now you're oh stepping out God. of character. You're talking about zing. Zing. Uh, no, no, no. Zing. <laughs> Mushroom soup. Zing. <laughs> it is perfectly balanced. Not Neither acidic nor basic. As all things should be. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. oh, no. Thanos. No. no! <laughs> I support the troops. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are there troops in this universe? Are the towns going to war? Uh, not like, yet. I kind of love that. Wait, did we just move here? Well, you tell me real quick. How long do you think you've been here? We'll determine how deep in debt you are. Right, I moved here after graduating from college with honors. I was a marketing major. Wow, way to set yourself up to be a god in this universe. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, Jonah's not playing, so. <laughs> Shit. I'm very good at Shit. managing my stock portfolio. My bells are incredible. <laughs> no, this is after. Oh, my God. Both things are true. I'm 50000 in debt, and I'm very good at my stock portfolio. This is the Great Depression, but an Animal Crossing town. Oh, my God. Okay, Maybe go. I'm at the this bank, and I'm I like, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, because here's instead my... of being like, what could be the problem in an Animal Crossing town? Mm, they ran out of apples. Your brain goes, it's the Great it's Depression. It's the Great Depression. Yeah. I uh, okay. see these animals in a dust bowl. Grapes of wrath with furries. Let's this, go. This is, yeah, this is fucking uh, the big short, but it's like... <laughs> God. Um, are uh, we on camera or on recording? Yeah, I mean, I've just kind of been recording Good. and just like just chilling. And all this gold is not going to waste. No, exactly. No, because like the Andrew's entire story has to be like right. somewhere. If it's at the very end of this whole thing, whatever the case yeah. may be. Like, I, I just didn't want to blow my load. No. You would never. I have never come. <laughs> 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 Sex holds no appeal to me. Yeah. I've never experienced arousal. My character goal is becoming the mayor of South Bend, Indiana. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> well, no, then I should be a rat. Oh, <laughs> so. uh, yeah. Yeah, right. We gotta be a rat. Oh, fuck, no. <laughs> gotta be a rat if you want to be the mayor of South Bend, Indiana. Oh, my God. Sorry, sorry. I but love I love when the people developing the app for the thing are like, <laughs> we love this guy. Oh, we God. love this guy specifically. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure everything's fine, and there is no conspiracy. It's all normal. Everything's normal, guys. Oh, this is the world we live in. It's fine. Oh my god. Just uh, accept it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm accepting it. Sit back it. and accept it, or else Alexa's gonna tell on you. I'm gonna accept it all the way to buying f PVC pipe. <laughs> <laughs> and well, my, my card will be accepted. That's oh. right, FBI. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's Just get an IRA up in here. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's fucking do it. <laughs> This is the ground zero of Joe's <laughs> movement. Animal Crossing podcast. Oh my god. Oh my god. Burn it all. There's a specter haunting Nookington. The specter of communism. <laughs> oh my god. That's kind of what I was hoping your, your end goal would be as this character. Not as just... this guy. This is the wrong guy. No, I don't know. No, this guy buys in. You're right. I am a moderate. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what, everybody? This isn't the only side quest we've been recording lately. We actually started Villagers as a way to buy ourselves some more time while we record and prepare more episodes of our other upcoming series we're going to be alternating with Villagers. 
Prepare for blood, guts, and glory. Coming soon, inspired by the world of Conan the Barbarian. Bound.